We're about 20 minutes before the E-Champions League starts and... <laughs> it's not looking too good, is it? Help me. Barocco. I feel like one of them influencers when they're doing like an unpackaging. And then a bottle as well. Um, and you have seen that right, that is a Love Island bottle. Uh, can't explain myself. Love Island is sponsored by Just Eat. You know who else is sponsored by Just Eat? XL. So they managed to fluke one of these. <laughs> when you've got muscles like this, no problem. Bottle and then just drop it in. I should be warming up right now, but the Barocca is more important. Now we're anticipating a little bit of fizz when this opens up, so bear with me. That's what I look like. So I have my setup there, the other PC there. Spence is the same, but he's gone for the portrait screen. He's watching a bit of Stokes outside, and then his gameplay there. A bit of water, PCs are nice and colourful, and the fake grass. Always a win, by the way. I want some of this stuff. Then the TV. At the minute, we've got music, been having the World Cup, and then Javi's set up there as well. And that's Ben in his setup. Oh, it's not a bad little space. Right, should we do a quick team review? Foot champs team review. You get Donna in goal, you get Ricardo Carvalho, Walker, Lucio, Capdavilla. Basically, World Cup heroes everywhere. Marquisio, Yaya, Neymar, Al Oriran, Speedy Gonzalez, Mbappe in form. Are you on my account, Jamie? An R9. Wait, what team we dig and we've spent doggy dog? Yeah, to look. Is it the same team? No, he's got Cully Bally, but that's it. One change for Spent. He's gone for Cully Bally. Carvalho is a pussy, Spen's words. Um, I didn't go for Cully Bally because by the time I could get the coins, it was too late. Didn't fancy it. So I am going under the name of George Fester 14. And my first game is Darwizzy Fan 17. Can you do something for me? Can you hit a little rich fix for me? First leg of the first ever FIFA 23 game I played. Complete, 1-4-2, played like absolute crap. So, second leg, we gotta be better. Do you see what happened in my game? <laughs> I was kind of looking, it was like 20 old. Wait, Giles 4 2 up first leg. In 12 minutes of second leg, I'm 5 4 down. He scored 3 in 12 minutes. I'll be so tilted. We take the win now. Two wins, two losses in Swiss. Not much to say apart from. If this nugget works, we'll win games. If it doesn't, I'll be going out swiftly. Scraping wins left, right and centre. Uh, we now need four in a row. We need four in a row to win. Shout out to Twitch subscriber that gave me this package. We'll remain unnamed. But this is actually unbelievable, yeah? He said, oh, I'm gonna send you a package. Uh, let me know where to send it. I was thinking, hmm, what could it be? England shirt, Kane, nine, Signed by the man himself. Golden boot winner, hopefully he makes that two times. And then the sexiest Swedish man on the planet. Kulisevsky, the new Spurs home top. Apologies for the mess, but how good is that? The man will remain unnamed, but thank you very much. I'm giving you a shout out on the vlog because he's a sick. No, 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 no,
no, no, no. No. Leave that, leave that, leave that. No. No way. Right, last game of Swiss for me and Spen to get out. We're both four and two. Um, what you would have just seen is one of the craziest things I've seen in pro FIFA. Uh, Spencer has a penalty in the 80th minute against Nick Sneb. And both DC at the same time as Gorilla's taking the kick. Now, we know that it was going in, but you can't prove it on the clip because it happened so, so quickly. They managed to give a penalty to Spencer again. And how is it? He, he misses the pen. Nick Sneb scores a corner and uh, wins the game from there. Very, very weird circumstances. I think that was the best solution. You couldn't really give Spen the goal, but crazy scenes in that. Uh, we're both now four and two, so we have one game to win each to get out of Swiss. If you lose, you're out. If you win, you're through. We're just hoping that we don't match each other. Pray with me. Today could be a very great day. Come on, boy. A second day of ECL. We have to win three games to get to the event. I think if we go into loser's bracket, we might have to win three games again. Not quite sure. Uh, we're starting like 10 minutes. My first game is against the one, not only, hashtag Stokes, whatever you want to call it, and XL, hashtag Derby, uh, hashtag old player versus hashtag new player, or Battle of the Toms. Maybe Battle of the Toms sounds better. And if my mum's watching, I apologise. It's a Battle of the Thomases. Spen got the same objective as me. We're both going for it. Need three wins. If we don't get them, we won't make it. If we do, we will make it. So I now have to win two games to make the next stage, which is obviously the aim coming into the weekend. Next game, here we go. A few moments later. I lost to Rafsu in the next round. He grilled on me. Now we need to win two in the loser's bracket. You know what to do? Mm. Practice them enough times. I'm staying here. I looked in, I looked in. Update again. 
I won like 6-1. And I think, I haven't checked, I think if I win this game, I'm into the next stage. If I don't win this game, I'm out. Unfortunately, Spencer is out. I mean, he was unlucky, to be honest. He's played really well. Um, and I think he's outdone what I thought he would do in terms of gameplay. He's not happy with the performance. If you don't make it, you're not happy. But he actually played really, really well. Trust the process. But yeah, I think this might be the last game. I might still have two games to win, so I might misinform you. But I'm not checking the bracket. Focus, focus. Yes! Come on! It was just like a song. Yes, man! Yes! <sighs> now we're officially in the last game. I told you I didn't know whether it was the game to qualify or not. I beat Mens, and I started thinking, oh, I've qualified. I haven't. We now have one more game to qualify. The end of the tournament, no matter what. Come on!